Matrix NBA Championship. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. everyone, how's it going? My name is Sean David and I welcome you to the Basketball Time Machine, your weekly dose of old school NBA basketball. Now the 1996 Chicago Bulls was my favorite team of all time and it still is. And in today's episode, this will be the second part of NBA Legends talking about how great that team actually was. Also comparing it a little bit to the Golden State Warriors and their greatest team and see who would come out on top. But before we start with that, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content and I would say let's do it Now the first player's opinion that I want to take a look at is from Byron Scott who obviously played against the Chicago Bulls with the Lakers in the early 1990s and yeah he ran into the Bulls when he played I think it was the Vancouver Grizzlies or the Indiana Pacers back in the day anyway for you let's hear what he has to say and this is another one where I wage war yes sir the Golden State Warriors with Kevin Durant mm -hmm. against the 72 and 10 Bulls who mm -hmm. wins that series and before Ooh. you answer I'm gonna tell you this Honestly, and I'm being nice, I give the Warriors a game. I think it's a sweep, but I give them a game. No, I, I give them two. But you, okay. But I'm, but I'm going with the Bulls. Okay. I give them two. Uh, because you look around at that Chicago Bull team and you look at that Golden State team, and you know, th this is always the question. Oh, who, who gonna guard Steph? Who gonna guard Clay? Who gonna guard? Okay, you, you do know they had three of the best Defenders of all time. The Bulls. Yeah. A uh, four in, out of five. Yeah, in, in Michael Jordan. Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Ron Harper. Dennis, Dennis Rodman and, and Ron Harper. Harper. So they gonna guard the shit out of them. But here's what the non basket the fans, the people that ain't ever played will say. Man, who stopped the Steph with the threes? Yeah, and I played with the I, that's, threes. That's what I'm talking about. Right. So so I'm gonna say Rod or MJ is guarding Steph. Right. Rod or MJ is guarding Clay. Right. Kevin Durant, Scotty Pippen got you. Now he's and not stopping a Kevin Durant. He's not stopping him, but he gonna make it hard. He gonna give he gonna Kevin make it KD hard. the migraine oh, he, he got. He gonna make it because again, Scotty six seven six eight, right. long. You know, right. You know, Kevin six eleven really. Right. He ain't gonna stop him, but he gonna be right there on every shot. Okay. And he gonna be in his ass to make him put it on the floor. He not gonna give him open shots. And Dennis Rodman will literally be in Draymond's ass. Oh yeah. Literally, I mean, that, actually, that, again, be in it again. That's that's a carbon copy. That, right. You know, those are two. Those are two. Right. You got two great defenders. Yes, Draymond's a great defender. Right. Draymond handles the ball and initiates offense. Obviously, that's not Dennis's right. forte, but rebounding and defending. Chicago beats them in five six. And the next player, coach's opinion that we're going to take a look at is from Steve Kerr. And his opinion is super interesting because A, he's coaching the Golden State Warriors and was coaching their best team. And he was a player of that great Chicago Bulls team. So it's super interesting to hear his opinion and to see which route he will go. Let's see. Yeah, and I'm biased, so I'm going to say the 96 Bulls. And, and, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I think uh, honestly, when I look back at, the, at that Bulls team, um, that team was actually built to play today. Um, mm. Now, minus the volume of three-point shooting, but that, but I think that team was capable of it. But when you're talking about um, the versatility that you need to defend today, if you throw, if you throw out onto the court, Ron Harper, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Tony Kukoc, and Dennis Rodman, that's a 2020 defense, um, right? That that team that those five guys can guard anybody, and um, and then offensively, you know, nobody can nobody ever could guard Michael Jordan then. You, you can only right. imagine now with the spacing and and the rules and and Ku coach was was unbelievable. He was way better than than people really remember him uh, for, and um, so. Uh, you know that, and that's the hard part. You said it. It's so hard to, to compare eras. So, Ron Harper stepped up. 
Tony Kukoc really developed in the previous two years. Really, everyone, that team really meshed so well as a team. And that was one of Phil's philosophies, that the wholeness and the balance of everything has to be together. And I think that's one of the best teams where truly, I think everyone liked everyone and wanted to be around everyone all the time. Phil would break us up every now and then and pin those two guys against each other because they're really the only ones who could push each other to the limits. But everyone else had to fight to keep up with them. Every night you step on the floor, teams were really gunning for you. The in warm-ups, you could tell sometimes where teams just, before the game started, kind of succumbed to, wow, we don't have a chance. And other teams, we could see guys really roughing it up, getting ready, and like, okay, we're gonna have a little battle tonight. Ruffin has it blocked by Longley. Oh, what a play to Pippen. It seemed like nothing went wrong that whole year. We won a lot of games because of the closeness. Nothing rattled us. We were more polished from the neck up. We thought the game out a little bit more. We read each other more. We communicated better on the court. We had a great group of guys in terms of our bench, guys that you know were professionals in terms of taking care of their bodies and being ready for the back-to-backs. And the next player's opinion that we're going to take a look at is Gilbert Arenas. And Gilbert Arenas, I mean, his comments are always out there. Sometimes I think, okay, it really makes sense what this guy says. And sometimes I really think that guy wasn't playing in the NBA. Super interesting, though. Let's hear what he has to say. And, hey, shout out to Ari Spears, one of my favorite comedians. Let's take a look. Who's okay, so, okay, so what you really have... And I don't give a damn about the errors. No, no, no. Okay, so when it comes to styles, you have... You have a defensive team. Four, like, four to five starters. You're talking about premier defenders. You're talking about pure, premier, just straight premier defenders, and they're all at the same position. Two three Again. point assassins. And then you have, and then you have, you have all guard play on it. But you have Michael Jordan. <laughs> like, you got Scotty. You have Michael. They have a KD. Scotty's on KD. Scottie's he ain't up. stopping KD, but it's gonna be a tough day at work. So Mike on Steph, who who's stopping Steph? You don't, they don't. Ron, 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 Ron Harper's gonna be a Ron problem. Ron, you're, you're gonna pick so Ron. Michael Clay. Michael's Michael. destroying Clay. Right. Yeah, it's gonna, oh, yeah. Okay. So you gotta remember, it's 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 so it's because that was the team that was a that was a small ball team that nobody actually paid attention to. Yeah, for sure. So it's it's a perfect matchup. But you know when you have when you're talking about somebody like Jordan coming through the lane. Like, he's going to average 40-something that series because there's no one that can physically stop him. And, so it, and if you are talking about today's rules, yeah, he's going to average 40, maybe no, more. No. What's so funny is no matter, like, the, the, the thing is, it's going to be KD and Jordan. Those are gonna two be, premier. They're going to be two premier players because they don't have a seven-footer that's going to be able to keep up with him. No matter if you put Pippen on him or Jordan, I mean, or what's name, he's still going to be able to pull up on anybody. So it's... It's it's those two, and then Jordan is going to carry because no one is physically. And you don't think that that uh, from a shoot? you give them two games, I'll, I'll give them one. We broke our franchise record with sixty four wins that year. Then the Bulls break the NBA record with seventy two. That was a lot of good basketball during that year. Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Tony Kukoc, Ron Harper would be better today. They would be better players today, in my opinion. Michael Jordan, Scott Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Tony Kuko, they would be better. With no not, hand check there's, there's no hand check in Michael Jordan, Scott Pippen, I'm, Tony Kuko. I'm just saying that there's no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that tweet's out fast. It's all like, you there's forgot no, Ron Harper on that yeah, list. No, Ron <laughs> Harper was a, and he'd be great defensively. No, and no, Ron Harper was a hell of a that's player. That's not my point. That, that's You're going to rattle those guys off. Do it again. Do it again. Who are those guys? Michael Jordan, no, Scott no, Pippen. No, 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 that wasn't We're close. Good. Come on. But my point is this, Chuck. <laughs> those guys Tony Kuko. are great. <laughs> They're great. So, like, you, this a sandwich. you know, the 1996 Chicago Bulls team is not only my favorite team of all time, but to me, and I know that many of you guys feel the same way, it was a privilege to see that team play. And I'm not talking about the people that watch highlights nowadays and who have seen the Last Dance documentary, even though I'm happy that that documentary exists so you could at least see a little. But it was just special to really be alive and see Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman all going crazy. This amazing support 
supporting cast. Phil Jackson is an amazing coach. It was, for a basketball fan, the greatest time to be alive. So thank you, guys. Uh, Chicago Bulls players from back in the days. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And to you fans, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. All the best to you and your family. See you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.